with Southland Hunter. Uh, we all go out into the field and chase our favorite game. And if we're lucky enough, we take our favorite game home. But when we do, we've got to field dress it and clean it. And our knife becomes our number one source in the field once we've made our kill. Uh, this, this product here, I've tested and tried, and I can keep a really good edge with my knives with this product. And this is the Work Sharp Knife Sharpener. And it'll come in a box like this. And this unit runs about $80, I think. There's a step up from this, but this one is about $80. So that's what you can expect to spend on this, this unit. And you can also buy, basically this is a grinding unit with belts. And there are, there are three belts that come with the standard unit. Uh, it's uh, 80 grit, which is a coarse, and you use this one mainly on tools uh, like pruning shears or axe heads, something like that. And this is the 220 grit belt, and this is the one that you start with when you start working on your knives to take the, the burrs and the edges and any nicks you might have in the blade off. And the final one is the 8,000 grit, 6,000 grit, excuse me. And this is for your fine, fine sharpening on your blades. You can buy extra belts. Um, for these, they're $10 a piece. This one is nothing but the fine belts, uh, the 6,000 grit. And then this has two of each that come with these, and these run about $10 a piece. So that's not bad to keep your knife sharp, and that, they'll last a while before you need to change the belts. So in the box also will come, it's, it's a quick start guide. And it kind of walks you through what each uh, application will do uh, for your knives, scissors, tools. It's just a quick, quick, easy way to figure out which one, which guard and stuff you need to use to, to, to work on your knives. All right, so your grinder will come with slide plates that will slide on here that help you with your angles. This one will have a 50 degree for the knife, 25 on this side, 25 on this side. Uh, this one here will be your 65, and you use it on the kitchen scissors, uh, anything like that. And then if you've got a serrated blade knife, such as my Benchmade here, you'll run it through this side as well. But you can also use that fine blade to help sharpen the serrated part of the blade. So that's that piece. This one is for fillet knives, for your fishing knives. Um, and th this is all real simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this, this grid out and switch to the 80 because, like I said, the uh, green grit is going to be for your tools, your pruners, uh, axe heads, things like that. And it's real simple. The piece in the middle here has a spring on it. You just push it down. Your belt will come loose. You just take the belt. So you've got that belt off. And then to put this one on, it's real simple. You're going to just slide it back in the grooves here. Another roller. There's two rollers in the bottom here. And it'll simply slide in there and then just push down on your spring, slide your belt over it, and that one's attached. And I like to give the, uh, the power switch just a, little, just a little flick to help line everything back up, get the belt even and straight. And then your guards simply just slide on the back. There's a little little catch here that they just slide right down and it's set up and ready to go. You're ready to sharpen knives. It has, uh, tells you your angles here for your 25 degree and your 65 degree. And like I said, this will do just about anything you've got. I have a case knife. I have a cheap Smith & Wesson uh, $20 blade. I've got a good $200 Benchmade. I've got a Browning Skinner, and I've got my Buck Skinner. And I can do all these knives with this one unit. So what you do is you set your blade in here, and you wanna pull it back slowly. You want about a second per inch of blade. So this one's probably got two and a half to three inches on it. So that's about how long it should take me to pull it through. And when I'm done, I want to stop with my blade still on the belt when I turn the power off of the unit. That way it'll help slow the belt and it'll give it a, uh, a good finish. But 
I'll do one stroke on this side and then I'll do a stroke on this side. Switch to the other side. And now the blade has an edge on it. And what you'll do is, once you're satisfied with your edge here, you can pull this through here as many times as you need to to get your edge back good. Once you get your edge back, you'll switch over to your fine and finish finish the sharpen on the blade to where you can take care of your arm. But like I said. This will do any of these knives. I'm pretty happy with that one. Uh, there's no real nicks in the blade. My bench made. This is my browning skinner. And finally my buck. I'm happy with all the all the blades on this particular grit so now I'm going to switch it out and all I've got to do is pull this off I don't even have to take my guard off to do this simply pull the belt off and switch and this fine belt is a little a little trickier to slide on because it's so loose it's not quite as stiff as that 220 grit so I'm going to slide this on Push down, the belt is back on. I'm gonna give it a little turn, make sure it's square. And then I'm gonna be ready to finish this knife off. So I'm gonna slide it in here. got a really nice edge on my blade now what you'll do for the gut hook portion simply slide off the guard and you want you want your gut hook to be on the downhill slope of your belt if you turn it on the other side it'll just cut the belt in half so you want it to be on the downhill side and this machine runs forward clockwise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply hold it up, slide it in like this, turn it on, give it a few rotations. Same thing on this side. And now my gut hook is sharp. So all in all, this little unit here will keep your knife sharp when you go to cleaning animals, uh, skin and deer especially, uh, large animals, elk caribou, anything large, bear, it's going to keep your knives sharp and it's going to make cleaning your animals a lot easier. Thanks for your time. This has been the Southland Hunters.